well it's four years later I just had a look on the altar with medic uh, video I made four years ago and uh, I found another one of, them, of these relays different specifications completely this particular one rated 250 volts AC with them on frequency 485 off frequency 110 hertz and the one I made the video of is also 250 volts rated with them on frequency 208 and office 280 and the double E on there so it's a Vitamata electric power board uh, with Matic so we're gonna open these up and uh, I'm gonna hook them up this panel here and I'm gonna put a uh, 208 tariff meter on here and then uh, connect it all up as a load and uh, let it work what it was supposed to do in the olden days Okay, we'll open the unit up a bit more and deciphering where the wiring goes. There's a couple of inductors underneath these units and there's another coil here. It's quite a capacitor. So they obviously have something to do with the tuning. 1250. I'm not too sure exactly, but I've deciphered roughly what the wiring does, hopefully. And I'll show you the inside. It's just for me as a reference point too. So terminal one and terminal two are bridged. That's phase. This is a switched output and neutral and neutral. That's the way the wires are in the box. There's a grill thing here too. I don't know what that does. Maybe ventilation or something. Not too sure. No, nothing on the other side. So I have no idea what's in that circle. So I'm going to open it up and have a nose in there. Hmm, that's interesting. Little stones. No idea what that's for. That's weird. Could be some absorbent des decedients or something. I'm going to put this whole device back together and have a look at the other device, see if it's similar. Yeah, the full phase is on this terminal here. Can I see that? Yeah, that's full active is on there. So terminal two. You've got a switching device here. And terminal three is the output for tariffs or metering. Okay, got the other one open. Um, different design a little bit. 31 ohm coil, 27 ohm coil. Got a selenium rectifier here. I've got two condensers, capacitors. We've got the face wire separated. Middle one and the neutrals connected. So really there needs a jumper in here, so I'll probably do that like this. A bit of corrosion. And we've got the decedent cell in there too. See what's in there, we're going to open it up. Similar granules in there. Really interesting. Okay, I've got this whole lot connected up, 230 volts, and I'm going to see if it's got it works. Waiting the tail from the meter. Click, and it worked, the meter went over. Fantastic. 
me to mess up sticky relay because I got the pallet wire out. It still stays on. Try to do the oscillation again. Click meters on. And the meter is off. It was sticky. A sticky relay. This other relay has different frequencies, so I need to run the speed a lot higher to make it work. Now run the frequency lower, now the right hand side relay. That heater door is about 150 watts. Test load on the meter on the left. Well, the, this video was definitely overdue four years ago, so I've got a heater connected up here. It's only 150 watts. That's controlled by the left hand ripple relay or medic. And then I've got the right hand with medic controlled, uh, controls a street light on a different frequency. It's a high pressure sodium. I haven't even checked the fitting, so I'm not sure if it works. And I've got my oscillator, my ripple injector oscillator sitting here. Click. Straight lights should be energized. Slowly running. This is not a heavy movie. Light coming on. And the light is coming on. Uh, so I ripple controlled on the street light here. And let it attain brightness. you very light load. The meter is moving. It's an 80 ampere meter so that's the ripple street light. The controlled ripple street light off. What's the bottom oscillator? Click off and now get it back on. It's high pressure sodium so it doesn't probably restrike straight away. I forgot a jumper, so we'll do the rhythmatic on the left one, that is for the heater. Click, there you go, you can see the meter move now. I'll switch it back off. On. Oh, these frequencies are quite close together. Now I've stopped. I watched the arrow too, there's a little arrow in there. I'll show you that too. And I was controlling the tariff at the same time.
Beautiful devices, these. And here we've got the 70 watt APH. And we got it on the ripple on the 208 hertz, and we'll switch that off. Watch the lower oscillator, this one. Off. You can get it back on. Back on the wheel strike straight away too, quite amazing. This is just amazing technology, these are all the type uh, we play receivers. As I've said probably before, um, these are the old Rhythmatic relays and they can be used for controlling street lights remotely instead of photo cells, uh, metering tariffs, uh, controlled heating loads for like storage heating, um, pump stations. This equipment originates maybe from the 1940s, 50s, maybe earlier. Uh, I can't find any information on the internet about these uh, rhythmic relays. And they're actually really cool devices. The two ones I've got connected up here, they run both on different frequencies. So um, these got a uh, higher frequency rate, 5-600 Hz, as I showed on the nameplates in the beginning of the video. The other one runs at a lot lower frequencies. And the only way I, I create these frequencies by means of uh, a uh, techo generator, which I showed in the previous video. I'm fascinated by this type of equipment. Um, not everybody agrees with that, but that's their loss. Uh, this is a lot more interesting than all the plastic rubbish they put up now these days. This stuff. Uh, yeah, piece of history, and as long as YouTube is around, these things are going to be uh, visible, hopefully. But I'll go to 007. Um, I'm going to run this old stuff at 235 volts, 240 volts. If you play with electricity or experiment, always play safe, unplug safety first, de energize device, make the physical gap. I've got a lot of wires hanging on here, and um, I even forgot the odd things. Uh, initially the iskra meter and the heater didn't work because I forgot this loop, this red little jumper in here. Uh, terminal 1, terminal 2, because on the other meter they bridged internally. Another cool device is this square D voltage checker. Got a bit of a damaged window in it, but it uh, still works alright. Got a plunger in there, so you can see the red needle go. 230 volts. I come up, make contact here. Hope you can see it on the camera. Really cool equipment. Square D. These type of units are amazingly designed.
and I may show it in the other video. This is the little what's a stepper motor wheel. Hang on, let's get the camera down. This is a stepper motor out of a heavy V commercial VCR with a magnet in here. Got these coils in there, and by spinning this around, it gives the frequencies to operate these devices. My reference, the signal I brought in lower coal. Lower coal form terminal. Out on the upper coal rear terminal. I wired these two in series and seem to work fine. Lower coal uh, front terminal again. And then the upper coal rear. Hang on, let the shade out of here. Rear terminal. That's going to be the end of the video. Good old B2224.